Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to this new lecture. And um, in this lecture, we will be talking about a couple of things. Uh, so in our pre previous lecture, we have configured the Fortinet uh, uh, firewall to be able to reach internet. And that is going through via the uh, the router that we have here, right? And, and here on the router, we have the PAT, which is taking the um, traffic to the internet right and that is how our firewall is basically able to reach the internet now one thing you have to make sure this is your port one is your management plane and this is going to be your data plane right this is also going to be your data plane we have not configured this yet but this is going to be your data plane dp and this is going to be your management plane right so this we are we will be trying to keep this as um, I mean separate as possible that is the idea of data plane and management plane now in this video What I want to do is I want to set up this Windows PC Which is the client inside the DC one and um, we will configure the IP on this Windows and then we will have the uh, Gateway set as the port 2 which is basically on the 10.2.2 range and we will also configure the IP address on the Fortinet for the inside LAN port okay so let's head towards the uh, Fortinet firewall first, which is on 192.168.1.51. Uh, enter the creds. Hit enter. Now I will just click on don't show this and hit on OK. Now if you go here in the dashboard, I want to show you something, which is the network. And then if you see here, you see the routing, right? Routing part. Um, so this is um, this is the dashboard and you have multiple widgets here. Now I will click on expand to full screen on the routing part. You should see the routing table here as well. I've shown you how to check the routing table via the CLI and via the GUI you will be able to see like this. Now if you want to configure the in uh, port, uh, what do you say, port 2 which is our inside LAN interface then you would have to go to the network section, go to the interfaces and click on basically port number 2. Double click here and now we are inside the configuration of port number two right now you can set the ip address from here and now in our topology is going to be uh, 51 because this is the dc1 firewall like that and i will just uh, enable ping for testing sake and just had mm, hit on um, the ok now once you have this let's go back to the dashboard to the status and 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 not status basically sorry to the network and click uh, on the expand now you can see it is now showing four routes earlier it was only three routes so the new interface has been added yeah you can see port number three now if you go on to the status as well you can see multiple information about your um, the uh, 40 gate firewall what version it is running what mode it is in it is in nat mode nat mode is basically um, the fancy way of saying that you will have L3 interfaces on the Fortinet. There is transparent mode as well. You will see in the uh, upcoming lectures or sections uh, the deployment. Right now, the deployment is NAT mode or L3 mode or routed mode. But Fortinet or FortiGate, they call it as NAT mode. Simple as that, right? Now we have configured the um, the Fortinet inside interface. Now let's go on the Windows PC and configure the uh, PC there. And I'll go here and the password should be test123. Okay. And to configure this, I will go and hit on basically run and say ncpa.cpl. Go to the adapters and the adapter that i'm looking is this one the and i'll click on ipv4 and i'll go here and say 10.2.2. um what say let's this is 100 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and the gateway is, which is very important is the ip address of our firewall and then you can have the dns set to 8.8.8.8 4.4.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 .2. okay okay and 
now once you have this set I will just right click here and check the status and see the details here and I can see that the IPv4 address that we configured is uh, configured uh, has been saved to the interface okay and then I'll close this close also this and restart later now I'll open the command prompt here and I would do a basic connectivity test from my uh, from my LAN PC to the port 2 of the firewall right so I'll just do a ping and the IP on the firewall is what 2.51 that is what and this is successful because we have uh, allowed the ping when we were configured when we when we were configuring the network interface here if you see on the interface and go to port 2 you can see the ping administrator's ping is enabled right and just in case we wanted to test this right so uh, that was it for this video uh, i will see you in the next lecture till then bye bye